Hey guys, what's going on? It's Caden Cleveland here with the Oklahoma Senate, and you're joining us for another episode of Budget Breakdown, of course, with our Appropriations Chair here in the Senate, Senator Roger Thompson. Senator, thank you so much for having us again this week. Um, this week, we're going to be kind of uh, going back to the roots, going back to the right. basics uh, in our episode this week, because I want to kind of have you explain to us uh, how we are able to understand, I guess, uh, the full picture of what an agency's budget looks like, okay. uh, and actually kind of dissect all the all the different parts that go into that. Is that all right? Uh, wonderful. Awesome. Glad to have you back in the office again. Uh, interesting you bring up this subject because we get questions on this, and I think we need to be able to answer yes. those questions. So what if we look at our budget and budget totals? We deal with four major areas, and oftentimes we talk about what we appropriate. And so, yes. like in FY18, our total appropriation was $7.5 billion. Okay. In FY19, uh, it's going to be a little bit more than that. Okay. But uh, we have the FY18 totals in. So right. I want to start simply by saying we, our fiscal year ends at the end of June. And so for us to talk FY19, we'd have to wait until after June 30th. All gotcha. the dollars okay. are in, everything's spent. So when I talk about it, these are true hard numbers from fiscal year 18. Gotcha. So FY18 is the latest full number, like That's, complete comprehensive numbers that we have. Exactly. Gotcha. Okay. And so, but when we look at what we spend, oftentimes we talk about this number. That's all we talk yep. about as far as the state of Oklahoma. We have a budget of $7.5 billion. And so I've just kind of chosen one agency because we've got a lot of questions about this Absolutely. agency to talk yeah. about. And uh, that's going to be the State Department of Education. And so these numbers up here are where we are right now, and this is FY19. Okay. So I want people to understand that we are in transition, FY19 numbers. Gotcha. This is where we are and where we're moving to and what we anticipate okay. at the end of the fiscal year. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, because we're rolling right along in the year ends, June 30th. Right. And so when we talked about public education, and this is just simply uh, the funding for K-12 through schools. Okay. And so that does not include higher ed, does not include career tech. Gotcha. These are just public schools. So we appropriated $2 billion. $912,985,147. a lot of numbers, right? That's a lot of numbers. All in one row. We, we used to almost all of them. Gotcha. So just to clarify exactly, these numbers here that we're, that you're talking about here, now a lot of times people think that that's the full budget. That's right. But really that's just a small portion of it. Uh, and these appropriated numbers, these are what the legislature appropriates that's right. to that specific agency. That's exactly right. Okay, gotcha. That's exactly right. And, and as you say, we oftentimes, we just spend here. And so we say, well, that's not a whole lot of money for public education. Right. But let's look at a full picture. And so we go across the board over this way in dedicated funds. Dedicated funds are going to be like revolving funds that they're able to use. Okay. And so revolving funds, I've got money left over uh, at the end of the year. It may go into that fund. Uh, so those are accumulated funds. So okay. Dedicated funds, they're for a purpose, but yet it's, as you can see here, about $3,834,660. And you said these dedicated funds, they kind of accumulate annually, so yes. it'll it'll be a fund that'll kind of build up, sure. and then they'll use it, and then build up and use it type deal? Sure, okay. well, because we're not static. Gotcha. And uh, everything that we do is dynamic. So right. you may have less employees this year than you had last year, right. maybe an insurance cost difference. It could be a number of things gotcha. that could add to this fund. And uh, But nevertheless, this is also taxpayers' money that needs to be used. Okay, okay. And so it's just like in a checking account. It's money out there that can be used. Gotcha. And so we need to be aware of that. Legislature does not appropriate this money. And so this is what we appropriate, so dedicated funds. Interagency funds are just, as it says, in between agencies. Okay. And so I may need some IT from you. I may need oh, something okay. from you. And so therefore, I'm going to pay you money to be able to come my direction. So if I'm a different agency, uh, your agency could could extend, uh, or I guess pay our agency to come and provide a service sure. for you. Is that sure? Okay. Gotcha. Uh, exactly. Well, that may be attorney general's office. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Maybe something. So uh, in the uh, State Department of Education, uh, about, about 12000 Okay. And so, but then we have others. And whenever we talk about other funds that comes in, that's going to be federal funds. Oh, okay. And that, that could also be uh, ad valorem uh, taxes that also flow into this. And we've talked about ad valorem before. Yes. Right. Here, that's all local. Mm -hmm. uh, federal funds that will flow through, some of that's matching funds, some of it's grants that's going to be able to come in. Okay. But we begin to look at the State Department of Education. There is $6 billion. Two hundred eleven million six hundred seventy-two thousand seven hundred ninety-six dollars. That's even more numbers. <laughs> and so we start talking about those are funds that flow into our K through twelve schools. And so when we look at a total spend for the State Department of Education, it's going to be nine billion one hundred twenty-eight billion five hundred four thousand six hundred three dollars. Wow, that's our total spend for K through twelve schools okay. in Oklahoma. So. 
just so I'm understanding the full picture here, because we get this question quite a bit. It's, right. it's, a lot of times there's some misunderstanding of the uh, individuals who think that this may be the full budget right. that's being uh, appropriated out to certain right. agencies. But there's so much more that goes into it. You mentioned dedicated funds, which right. are revolving funds, interagency funds, uh, funds being transferred between different agencies for right. services. Right. And then also the big one, I mean, uh, the other <laughs> side, yes. which has federal ad valorem, local revenue right. type right. deals. Um, that's kind of understanding the big picture of what an agency budget looks that's like. That's exactly right. Okay. That's exactly right. And this is our number one expenditure of the appropriated budget. Wow. Okay. We, uh, the closest to that is the healthcare authority at one point one billion. Oh, and wow. And so, okay. public education is our biggest spend uh, by far. So we can we can have the discussion. Is it enough? I think we can discuss. We need to do more. And the legislature, especially the Senate, said last year we're not finished. It was, right. It was only the first step. We want to do more there. Right. But it is a priority with us. Definitely. But I think it's also important that we see the full picture of all the money that's flowing in. Right. And we need to be responsible for all of this money. That's right. That's right. And we are. That's right. Just because this is the amount appropriated, right. that doesn't mean we're just responsible for this, but all of it needs to be accounted for. That's exactly right. Gotcha. And so as you see the budget come out this year, uh, you're going to see all of these in our budget. Generally, you see a budget that has this over here. Right. And so I'm going to be listing in our budget this year all of these other sources of revenue hugely so helpful. that the people of Oklahoma is going to be able to see this is our total spend. Right. This is what we're doing. To help people just get the big picture, right. uh, help them understand the full budget right. uh, of, of what a state agency actually looks like. Right. There's so many different right. things that go into that, not just from the state legislature. That's right. So, so yeah. let's we'll step back in time. Okay, go. And uh, back to the end of June 2018. You okay. remember that date. Yes. Uh, it's been some time ago, but <laughs> I still remember. But that fiscal year has ended. So we know exactly where we are now. So in fiscal 18, we appropriated 7.5 billion. Okay. And this is to all state this agencies. This is all okay, state gotcha, agencies. Gotcha. That's our totals. And so the dedicated funds, and remember that's revolving funds, a little over 3 billion, 3 billion, 40 million, 907,453. Wow. Okay. Interagency spend was a billion, 0.1, 1.1 billion. That's 1 billion, 117 million, 956, 963 dollars. I know, I know you like hearing me say those numbers. Of so course, yeah. And so what we have there in federal and another ad valorem that came in, all agencies, 16 billion, 202 million, 267,936 dollars for a total budget of 26 billion, 815 million, 715,770 dollars. And so we talk about this number over here a lot, right? And uh, we have to live off of this number. We, right. we do a lot of things. Our, the bills that we're passing on the floor deal with this number. Okay. But keep in mind, this is our total spend in the wow. state of Oklahoma and running the state of Oklahoma. Thank you so much for just letting us uh, understand that, walking us through what the, right. I guess, the big picture of mm -hmm. what an agency budget looks like, because there are so many different things that go into it. Right. So, Thank you for walking us through that. And uh, guys, I hope you uh, find this kind of educational, being able to uh, understand the full big picture of what an agency yes. budget looks like. Um, and if you do have questions, feel free to comment on this video below. We'll be sure to address those and, and get an answer back to you. Um, I guess beyond that, Senator Thompson, do you have anything else to add on this topic? No, just thanks for stopping by again. Yeah. And uh, we want to make sure that we do what's right for the state of Oklahoma. Right. And so we're working on all of these numbers to make sure if anyone asks you a question or me a question, we'll do our best to answer. Got it. Absolutely. Right. Thank Guys, thank you so much again for joining us. And we'll be back next week. So see you then. Bye, guys.